What's going on guys? Josh here from React Thrasters. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Hope everyone had a phenomenal Christmas, a phenomenal Thanksgiving, and a and a very, very safe, happy new year. Um, I know my family did, but I wanted to touch back base with y'all. I know I haven't posted nothing in quite some time, even on my social media. Um, the last time I posted anything was back at the Georgia Kayak Fishing State Championship on the Flint River and that's kind of where I'm going to start. Um it's it's been it's been one heck of a year. Um a really tough year for my family in 2018 and, and trying to juggle everything with the new job and uh trying to figure out everything, you know, what what's to hold and, and looking forward to 2019 see what I'm going to do on the work side and so on and so forth. Um staying at my job. Don't don't think I'm not going nowhere. I love my job. Uh Working at Dog Carbon One for Sales has been been a dream come true, um, but um, going back to kind of where I've been, um, y'all last saw me like I said at the Georgia Kite Fish in Flint River. It was a great time, great group of guys went down. We had a we had a really good time. Went down for two days, stayed at stayed at Sparrow Bluff, and it was phenomenal. Um, I finished. Fifth, six, or seven, somewhere around there. I don't even remember. Um, I was really kind of battling for Angler of the Year. I was still um, quite a few points off from Angler of the Year, but I was going to give it my best shot. You never know what you're going to get on the Flint River. So um, <clears throat> that's what I was kind of battling for. So I didn't really focus too much. Obviously, I was focusing on the tournament, but I was really focusing on going down there with a bunch of group of guys and vent, you know, finally being able to fish the Flint River. Um probably the most gorgeous river in Georgia, uh, at least in my opinion. Um, one of the best fisheries, on river fisheries in Georgia, in my opinion. Um, I've planned three trips to the Flint and everyone has fell through. And this time I really want to just go down and soak the Flint up 100%. And that's what I did. Um, laid back, chilled, you know, fished, and we caught a booty load of fish. I mean, me alone, I think I caught between the two days 42 43 fish and i probably only caught two spots and everything else <clears throat> was all shoal bass which was one of my probably my favorite bass to catch and uh it was it was phenomenal just this that fishery alone is absolutely amazing we actually went down in the in the slow part of the year or at least or the slow time of time of year i guess you would say i know it's obviously slower in the winter time but um it was it, it was it was still amazing and i and we're already trying to plan another trip to go down that's how good it was but um finished fifth or sixth and then um after that you know it kind of went silent um in the fishing side of my life um i had a lot of stuff come up it obviously you know i'm in sales so it was coming towards the end of the year so i had to make sure i, I hit my numbers which i did thank you jesus and i'm still covered up thank you jesus and uh really looking forward to 2019 but i also <clears throat> it's kind of the debbie downer um i had to get rid of the new canoe flint nothing against it i want that boat back a hundred percent that was my baby and uh, but I'm actually switching to something smaller, um, about the same weight, um, same color, but um, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I should have that in my possession hopefully in the next month to get ready for the 2019 season. I'm already kind of on the back burner. I, I got to start getting all my tackle together, so on and so forth. But um, so that's kind of where I've been. I've kind of cut all ties. I think I fished one time in October for maybe two hours, um, two times in November. And then probably one time in December, so it's been very, very slow. And it's all been pond hopping. Um, as y'all know, I, I moved into a foreclosed golf course. We have a pond. I, I gained access. I got permission to fish that, and that's kind of just where I've been going on the evenings or or on the on the on the days I have a, a few hours, just go try to catch some fish. And I, I've caught fish, so I'm I'm very blessed with that. Be able to drive, you know, a mile up the street, and boom, I got a got a pretty good fishery um with some biggins in it but um so that's kind of all, all i've been doing i haven't even charged my gopro i'm on my phone so that's all that has been completely behind me because i've been focusing on work and family especially on the holidays and that's another reason why i had to sell the flint is because i wanted to give my my kids a, a wonderful christmas and also make hands meet on some other aspects but i'm not going to get into that but um <clears throat> 
But my family had a phenomenal Christmas, a phenomenal Thanksgiving, and a very good New Year. And we're we are ready to put 2018 behind us. 2018 for my family was it was amazing because we we welcomed Luke into our family. But at the same time, we battled and battled and battled just things I don't even want to speak of. Um, and I know people that are close to me know what what all happened. But it was a very very tough year. But uh, that's why we were so looking forward to 2019. Um, but so <clears throat> from this day forward, I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on fishing. And, and I feel like I can juggle everything a little bit better now. I have a lot of good accounts, a lot of good clients that, that are going to continue to use my business. And so I can, I can you know, actually get that in, in a routine and then also, you know, get the fishing side of it. But the main thing I want to bring up is tomorrow, everyone is, or not just yet, but everyone now is getting ready for, you know, hunting season's over here in Georgia. So everyone's starting to flow back into the fishing and obviously getting ready for the 2019 tournament series uh, between North Georgia Kayak Fishing League, GKF, um, Real Crazy, Peach State, all uh, Chattahoochee Kayak Angles. Everybody in Georgia, you know, is really starting to get ready throughout the calendars for the 2019 along with the KBF stuff that's going on. And it's going to be a great year of fishing, at least for me, on the tournament aspect. I'm going to fish the – I'm mainly going to focus on North Georgia Kayak Fishing League um, and, you know, fish all their tournaments that I can. But I'm also going to throw in um, some Peach State and then also going to throw in some KBF. I really want to fish that new Pro Series KBF has, has put out um, for the Southeast Division. I think that's going to be a blast, and it's going to actually – it's going to allow me to hit some of the bucket list ponds or ponds, bucket list lakes and fisheries that I want to hit in 2019. So I'm actually going to try to focus on KBF and North Georgia Kite Fishing League. So those two com combined um, and really try to excel in that. Um, I really want to try to achieve, you know, to get my ticket to the KBF National Championship. I've always wanted to. It's just been my life's been crazy the past few years, so I haven't really been able to focus on that. I'm, I'm hoping 2019 will. And with the add-on to some more things in my arsenal that uh, I'm really looking forward to. So everyone, so back to what I was saying, everyone is getting ready for 2019. And so Westbrook Supply Company is put together a swap meet and meet greet swap gear top thing it's called the swap meetup um and it's for january 12th from 11 to 3 at westbrook supply co in atlanta georgia we already have a ton of people coming and if you haven't yet go over to the event page on facebook and follow it there is going to be some really killer stuff that are people bringing. So, so the whole idea of it is we're getting ready for another season of fishing, and we're 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 trying to get you know new stuff we want to try and and you know trade out some old arsenal. So that's kind of we're asking everyone to bring something to swap up, and you can either trade, sell, whatever. If you want to try a different black pack than the one you're the crate you're currently using, or if you want to try a different reel, rod, bait, whatever, you can swap between each other, trade them, sell them, whatever kind of whatever you want to do um and also eat some good food from dean bowling thank you sir and uh some good drinks that everyone's providing so it's going to be a blast january 12th from 11 to 3 at westbrook supply co in atlanta georgia it's going to be a blast make sure you're there i will be there absolutely 100 percent, unless something crazy happens and then a lot of good guys are coming um a lot of good people are coming to um, <clears throat> to bring up some of their stuff. It's going to be a really good time. I hope I hope to see all y'all there. And then also, we're going to announce some some demo days we got going, and actually just mingle with everybody and, and see see what everybody else is going to be doing this year. Where we can be a part of it. So it's going to be a really good time. Just chill, hang out, get some new gear, and and kind of kind of talk about the new season coming up. So <clears throat> back to what my goals are. Y'all know the tournament series I'm going to fish. Um, I am also going to be uh, on top of switching boats. Um, I am trading out. I'm in the process or the transition phase of phasing out all my rods and reels that I'm currently using and going to 13 fishing. Um, I picked up one of the rods the other day and I've always been intrigued by it. As y'all know, I'm a huge Fleet Master fan and, and I'm very blessed to be on a team with him, but I've never really had it in my never really actually took the leap to to actually get a rod and actually try it and i've tried them out but actually buy one of myself and actually really put it through the test and i got a 13 fishing 7-1 um faint black 
um, medium fast, and it is a ballin', ballin' rod. I, I've, I've had some really, really good rods in my hand, and this one has completely just blown my mind. Just the, the hook set, the load up it has on it, it is, it is a phenomenal rod. So I'm gonna kind of divvy into that. That's gonna be another video I'm gonna post up, just reviewing that rod and um, also kind of my lineup for what I'm bringing into 2019. So that's coming then also, um, I got a new PFD, Stonequest and um, Keeper, I believe it is. Um, so I'm gonna, and I've been using it, I used it on the Flint and uh, I'm gonna be using it you know, throughout the 2018 season. I love it, it's got some really cool features that I wanna show y'all, so that's gonna be another video too. And also, until I actually get back on the water with a boat, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna charge my GoPro and I'm actually gonna, you know, put the, put the hat cam on or, 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 the, or the chest mount and actually take you with me whenever I'm going pond fishing um, with, the, with this pond that I have here at my house. And uh, it's, it's gonna be a really good time. I'm, I'm trying to learn new, new techniques and new tactics to, to catch these golf, golf course bass. Um, some Mondo's in there. I'm telling you, there's some Mondo's in there. Some big old shell cracker too. Um, but um, <clears throat> I think there's a crappy too because I've seen a lot of a lot of Christmas trees. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. And then also, on top of you know just my fishing adventures alone um, and my tournament adventures, I'm gonna take y'all with me on some camping adventures, camping and fishing adventures. And then also, I'm gonna be breaking down the baits that I normally use and, and not necessarily teach y'all because no one can teach better than Flickmaster, but um, just show y'all how I how I work the bait or how, how I fish that certain bait. And it's just, and I don't really know a lot about baits. You know, I, I stick to mainly the, the five or six baits I throw and I'm gonna try to teach y'all or not really teach y'all, but go through how I fish them. Let's put it that way. Go through how I fish them. And then um, I'm also going to try to learn some new techniques that I, I want y'all to kind of learn with me. So um, it's going to be a really good time tomorrow. Make sure you're there. And um, I'm really looking forward to 2019. I think it's going to be a good year for the fishing aspect. Um, i got some really cool stuff planned with my team, Westbrook. Supply Co. is blowing up. We have went online. That's another big news. We have went fully online. And um, so go over to Facebook and, and or westbrooksupplyco.com and follow the links of, you know, how to get onto the online store. It's it's, it's huge. It, I am, I'm stoked. You know, I never thought I'd be so excited to be a part of an online, you know, fishing store. But uh, it's actually it's actually pretty cool. It opens the doors to a whole different market, and everyone knows you know online is where it's at right now, and it's it's gonna do some damage, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. But uh, remember, guys, tomorrow, January twelfth, eleven to three, Westbrook Supply Co. Swap meet, be there. Good food, good people are gonna be there, and some people that I'm sure you are wanting to meet are gonna be there too. So guys, go check them out. And guys, I'm sorry, like I said, I'm sorry I haven't been there, but uh. Family comes first, work comes first, and uh, but I think 2019 is going to be the year. Going to be the year. But guys, if you're coming tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. If not, please like this video, comment, comment. Oh yeah, comment on some stuff that you want to see. Drop a comment section or drop a comment in the comment section below of some stuff you want to see, and uh, I'll show it to you. I'll do I'll do the best I can. And uh, please, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Stay classy, guys. Keep them tight lines. If you're fishing, I'm jealous. If you ain't in the same boat as me, guys, deuces.